Cheat codes. We all know them. We all love them. At least I think you love them. I love them. Um, so how to do cheat codes in, in Game Maker Studio 2? Um, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. What, what, what the hell is going on? Uh, cheat codes after the intro. All right, let's get into it. Let's start by putting the resources to the left as always. And yeah, let's have a look what I have prepared, prepared here. Um, simple stuff, we got a room which has just a game object, OBJ game in it. And this object, OBJ game, it basically simply it draws to the GUI um, some basic text so health the string of our variable HP which is set to 10 by default and the lives one life by default and that's basically all it does what it also does upon pressing R it resets the room so that we can check that if we apply our cheat code um, that we just revert to the original state. Yeah, simple as that. Uh, and I got a power up sound here, um, a font which is basically just Arial, so nothing special here. Okay that goes away. So let's start. Um, it's actually very simple once you have gotten behind the concept of adding cheat codes. Um, and how we are going to do, is, uh, to do this is by using a DS list. So we will just create a DS list in the create event. So along with two variables for this code. So we call it the, uh, the UUDD code because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use the brand name of that code. And let's call it uh, code one index. Let's, that goes in like this, code one index, which is zero, and code one sequence. And this will be the DS list we are going to create. So, simple as that. Always, 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 when you create a data structure, make sure to have it properly removed from memory once it's not needed anymore. So upon the cleanup we will list destroy this list so that it gets properly removed from memory. That is good practice. Um, also what I should have told you maybe um, this of course is only an example how you would add cheat codes into your game. Uh, we use this object here for, for setting up the code sequence. Um, you have to think about like the proper environment to implement your cheat codes into your games. So maybe you are working with a big game controller object which should should and could handle this. Maybe you want cheat codes only to be um, uh, inputable um, during during uh, the pause uh, menu or while it's uh, while the game is paused. 
So you may have a pause controller for this and uh, instances that are deactivated during pause and some may be activated. So give it some thought actually. Um, I'm not here to make these decisions for you because yeah, as always, um, I like to show you stuff, but I'm not going to do any hand holding. So you have to come up with ideas how to implement it to make it fit into your project. Right, with that out of the way, let's continue. So we have our DS list created and all that rem uh, remains to do now is um, that we add the code sequence which we wish to add for this very cheat code. So let's simply uh, DS list add vid is um, our code one sequence and the variable is vk up in this case. Um, again, you may have a controller object uh, which takes care of all the inputs, you know, which would take v keys for keyboard input, but also input from game controllers. Um, you would use a variable for those and um, translate this. So, yeah, so maybe you exchange V key up for something else. Okay, with that out of the way, let's continue. DS list add vid is our code one sequence and for the value this is the actual key that we want to press because we are using keyboard input for this example i'll add v key up again you may have to adapt to your actual actual game you may be working with keyboard but also with game con uh, game pads controllers, uh, things like this. So you may have different variables for checking your input, which would come in here. But I'm, f I'm sure you can figure it out. Right, and now we basically just add the code sequence we want um, to add to the game. So that's up, up. down, down, left, right, left, right, and then uh, what's it? Not off, odd. B A. So that's the classic code you all know. And that's basically all for setting up this code. That's our code one. You if you want more codes in your game, more cheat codes, you would continue by setting up code two with a code two index which would also be zero. It would also be always be zero for every cheat code you would add. And yeah, the code sequence, then another DS list, which you would create and which you would also put into the cleanup event. Right, that's for the basic setup. And now all that is left to do is in the step event of this project, we check for those keyboard uh, for this this input presses. So in this case, we check for keyboard check pressed v key up. So if this is true, if v key up is pressed 
we look at our DS list. Find the value. Um, and we look at the sequence here and at the index and check if uh, this matches the key up. If it does, uh, not unlock, then this sequence not sorry this index advances by one if it doesn't if we press something else it's zero simple as that so that's basically what we have to do for all our different keys that are present in the key sequence. What do I mean by this? So, uh, you know, the cheat code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. However, yeah, we are checking for V key up already, which is twice in this cheat code sequence. So we don't have to check for it again because it basically would do the same. We now move on to down. So simple as that. We key down. What's the problem here? Oh, that's the problem here. No. Here. Right. Up, down, left, right, and B, A. That's all we have to do now. So that's the boring part of this. Okay, left, left. Right. B. Uh, yeah. Parentheses like this. Okay. this and I will copy this paste it here B and now we check for A yeah so these are all the keys that are inside our our um, our key sequence for the cheat code and now we simply check for the index and see if it is unlocked. And if it is unlocked, in here, in here, we put whatever code we want to run when the cheat code is activated. So, for example, I want to uh, play a sound. Uh, I guess audio play sound. SFX power up priority ninety no loop right. 
and we want to set let's say our HP's to 100 and the lives to 99 because why not simple as that so let's check it we run the game there we are 10 health one life up up down down left right left right b a ah, ha, ha. and that's what i forgot <laughs> yes we have to reset the unlock uh, the, the index so code one index back to zero let me have a look code one index back to zero because what this did it would repeat again up up down down left right left right b a ha let's press shift and r so we resetted it up up down down left right left right b a cheat codes magic Ooh, awesome cool um where to go from here as i said if you want multiple cheat codes you would create code 2 or cheat 2 or whatever you name them you always have an index value which is starts at zero which is whatever it is in the end and once you activate the cheat code then you return it to zero which is what we did here and yeah you also define the sequence which is a ds list for this ds list you check every key that's part of that sequence and once the sequence or the index is the same as the sequence in size then you run whatever code it is you want to run for the cheat code simple as that and that's that cheat codes i really love them right so if you um, found this video helpful then please leave a like subscribe to my channel because i really want this to 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 work out to blow up and maybe um, I can bring you many many more tutorials like this with stuff that's not too common because uh, I don't want to cover the stuff everyone else covers um, not the beginner stuff but something else so for this I really need your support of course if you think this uh, video sucked then by all means punish me with a thumbs down um, if you are a cool person then don't just hit the thumbs down but also let me know what you didn't like um, as always there are many ways to approach this and to to make cheat codes happen this is my approach which I find very useful and very easy um, but yeah if you found a better solution by all means tell me tell everyone in the comments all right so much for this bye bye see you next time